I, I like the fact that that uh, piece was so epic because we're going to carry on with some epicness now in a slightly different and changed form. We're going to play our uh, VGMathon game Hamster live on air uh, with the, ga <laughs> the guys from uh, Red Wasp Design. So I'm going to get myself out of the way and we're going to queue it up. Let's have a go at this. Right, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Right, gentlemen. Let me move myself. So it's just. Um, who wants to go first? Okay. Yeah, go, go. Good luck. Okay, so it's just click to, I'll click it and play for you, and it's just um, space bar to jump left and right, okay? Yep. Ready? Okay. My, yeah, we have to read this, it's uh, totally ridiculous. From a distant from the world beyond the stars, an alien race began their assault on the Earth, hungry for its radio waves. They attacked the stronghold of the radio waves, Bradley Stoke Radio. At first it seemed that the VGM disciples would withstand the attack, but alas, they were overwhelmed, outgunned and eventually captured. You can skip that. <laughs> How do we skip Fear this? not! <laughs> there, is one, there is one last hope. Hamster. And the idea is, is just to run along and um, grab as many boxes of hamster shout as you can. And that's the house saves the world. I have to say, I think you're doing really quite well here. Yeah. Looks a very good game, I have to say. Yeah, Dan is storming it. Basically, this looks a little bit like the James Pond game. Oh, yeah, James Pond game, yeah, yeah, that's really right. nice, really nice style. I like it. Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Level one, the fist walk. Oh, <laughs> let's uh, let's get uh, Let's have another go. Right. So, okay, yeah, I'll give it a go. One, one of the embarrassing things. Although, uh, although I um, work as a video games designer, I'm actually rubbish at playing games. <laughs> it, I mean, it's, it's a bonus because one of the difficulties when you play a game, you'll, you'll play your own game hundreds of times, and if you get too good at it, you end up making it a bit too difficult for the players when they hit it. Um, read everything again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to not... All right, so here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, very cute retro-style graphics and gameplay. You guys have done a really nice job on this. What? Oh! oh. Well, there you go, what did I tell you? I Died think straight off. Our new all -time low hey! Score. I think that is, that's Hall of Fame. Score. I'm going to give it another go because that was, that was really nice. Do it again, do it again. Yeah. Uh, okay, it takes a while to sort of get back to the start. Ah, right. There yep. we go. And go. I love this first track. So is this. Is this. Because uh, I was just saying uh, that the. There's going to be a part that there's a global games jam at the end of January next year, where there's I think 144 countries taking part uh, all over, and, and Bristol's going to be one of the places represented in the games jam. So it's really nice to see you guys taking part in that vibe, and I think games jams are really great for testing out ideas. Yeah. Uh, no, it's really really nice little bit of work here. My hamster's getting a bit full. <laughs> well, yeah, we didn't work like the mechanics of him getting bigger. Getting yeah, it reminds me of a very strange... Oh, yeah, that's we, we, true. We, that's we, true. The, the Games Jam I took part in uh, a few months ago, we actually did a, a similar sort of... Uh, not exactly the same, we didn't have a hamster, unfortunately. We didn't think of that. But we, we did a game called Mirror Nought, and the idea behind that is the game was mirrored. And so uh, as you hit obstacles, you could hit the space bar and it would flip you into a kind of reverse reality. Oh, have I passed the first level? Yeah, you actually done it. Oh, that's well, excellent. You. Yeah, no, really, really good after my dismal first try. Awesome stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's all do a switch round. Okay. That's level two, by the way. Oh, well, it's, it's going to die, it's going to die. 
Oh no, he's going to die. Uh, that was something a little bit different um, here on VGM Awesome. It's quite nice to have that in the back as uh, bed music. Uh, there's, the, there's the death music. <laughs> this seems to be the only theme that I can remember for some reason. This one's more memorable. Maybe it's because I keep dying all the time. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but yeah, maybe so. But gentlemen, um, it's been a real, real pleasure having you in the studio. Uh, I hope that we can uh, keep in touch um, yeah, no, with later like games to. and I mean, whatnot. If, you, yeah, if people want to follow what we're doing, then yeah. uh, we're on all the usual electronic uh, medium so uh, redwasdesign.com we're on twitter uh, at redwasdesign we're on facebook slash redwasdesign or just google us and uh, yeah check out what we're doing uh, and uh, the lots of information about you know who we are games we've done and videos and other things like that on our site and yeah that's great and yeah thank you very much for having us on it's been a real pleasure to meet you guys no worries see well, the nerve center of video <laughs> game awesome we are we are one hub um, of VGM awesome yeah it's, it's just really really cool to be doing something like this and having people like yourselves to come in and talk a bit about doing it in a professional capacity so it's, it's real a real pleasure to have you on so uh, thank you and uh, before uh, we go to uh, Mass Effect we're going to be doing our Retro Metro just afterwards um, but this is a really cool track called uh, Suicide Mission from the amazing game that is Mass Effect. Enjoy this, because every time I listen to it, I simply do. Nice. All right, okay, so we are a little bit late uh, for our Retro Metro, but we had to do it because we had some really special guests in the studio from Red Wasp design uh, we're going to play one more track um, of theirs a bit later on before we finish at 10 uh, but John, I'm looking around the, the VGM arcade and I'm seeing some cool stuff dude what do what we see what have we got we've got Ooh. some I think it's some Metal Gear over there uh, and also a bit of oh a bit of Micro Machines uh, again. we had some of that a while ago actually so let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, some Metal Gear shall we Metal Gear nice Oh, wow, okay, uh, that was awesome uh, stuff from Metal Gear Solid. Um, John actually has some really interesting news about uh, the latest Metal Gear game, which is coming out soon. But this is some music from Castle of Illusion, uh, featuring your favourite mouse, Mickey Mouse. Nice. Um, John, okay, I'm, I'm still looking around the arcade. What else can we have? Oh, there's some Super Metroid. Uh, I think we should play some of that, but no, mate, I, I think we have to go back to the Game Boy era the Game and, play, Boy. <laughs> and play some DuckTales, because this is simply sick. Oh man, I, re I remember the, uh, the cartoon TV show so fondly when I listened to this. Okay, John, I think we've probably got enough time just for one more, a very short uh, retro measure this week. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, John, I think we should make it a pretty pretty epic one what do we have oh, I'm, I'm liking the sound of maybe some Super Metroid go on then. let's do it let's hit it Super Metroid this is pretty uh, epic stuff uh, which again going back to what we we're saying with um, uh, Dan and Tom from Red Wasp, you know, really showing forth the scope of where game music has moved on from. You know, some of the tracks we played earlier on today, uh, tonight even, were really, really beautiful. Certainly the Advent Rising at the start of the show, which is based on an Italian opera, and it's just so heart wrenching. Brilliantly beautiful, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But okay, we're going to go show them with a track, a really nice track from uh, Splinter Cell Conviction, um, which came out a couple of years ago, which kind of introduced a new way of playing the Splinter Cell games, more based around the action as opposed to the espionage. But all the same, still a great game, still a great soundtrack. Enjoy this. Indeed, indeed, 
indeed. We are just having a quick play of, uh, of Hamster whilst the track was actually going on there. You listen to VJ Awesome uh, on 87.7 Bradley Stoke Radio and online bradleystokeradio.org.uk. I'm joined with Co-Prez, as always. John O.D. And we are now joined with uh, people not donning their headphones, uh, Boomstick and Crofty. Gentlemen, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Good. Good. <laughs> How are you both feeling after our epic weekend? I feel melted. <laughs> you feel Mel- what? Melted. Melted. Oh, from the inside out. I just, everything's falling out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was um, a pretty intense weekend, but I've got to say, I mean, the end result, and we heard it from those guys just then who are, you know, the professional games people, been doing it for some 12, 13 years, and, and they really enjoyed it, and they, they were quite complimentary of our, of our little game. So, Chris, well done you. Um, hey, well, well done, Crofty. Uh, no, well, 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 well no, done. No, sure, sure. Well done, team. <laughs> well done, team. Well done, team. But I do feel like you were the real, the real cog in this. I, I have to sort of give a big thanks to you, Chris. Yeah, but it'd be nothing without everybody else. No, that's very true. But thanks anyway. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. This opportunity? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Continue. Really? Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Okay, well, as I say, um, we've had a retro metro. Um, second hour, we are always joined with the always uh, entertaining duo of Boomstick and Crofty, which totally sounds like a comedy duo, like a Laurel and Hardy or Morecambe and Wise. I don't know, maybe, you know... Uh, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, we did have our vgm on the weekend just gone, and I just got to say, I mean, it was such a great experience to do something like that. You know, when you're kind of under that kind of pressure... Where you know that there has to be an end result. I mean, I know Chris, you've done these these things before, um, but I really enjoyed the pressure. You know, I, I didn't know how I was going to deal with it, um, but the end result I think was quite was quite good. Like the whole thing was amazing. Yeah, uh, like the pressure makes you get it done. I mean, like you know, if you if you give yourself a deadline of forty eight hours, you're going to get it done. Whereas yeah. if you got like give yourself a month, then you know it's going to relax and like you know. Mm. And, and what's the study going over that month? Yeah, you know? exactly. Just I've just fallen that trap many a time. Pushing it back. Mm. Push, pushing it back. Pushing, just it pushing, back. It back. pushing it back. Pushing it. But yeah, VGM Awesome, we're back. Monday night, VGM 25. It's our 25th show tonight, John. Can you believe that? I can't quite believe it. Uh, we've only got 25 left to do before we hit 50. Wow. That's yes. mass. That's, 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 mass. that's, that's, that's huge. That's and huge. Nine, 900,000, 990 <laughs> to get a million shows.